friends, I want to show you how to install brand new DSTV. Brand new DSTV, as you can see the accessories. Show them the accessories. This is the decoder, okay? This is the wire, the LMB, and the accessories of the dish. So this particular 90cm dish is another design. I want to show you how you can couple it and also install it, okay? All right, let's go there. These are the dish accessories. So you are just separating the bolts and the nuts, keeping them at a place where I can easily locate them. Okay, so this is the wire, Kwasil Kreb. Okay, now. So first of all, first of all, this is the one we'll couple first. As you can see, this is the arrow indicating upright, upright. This is the arrow. So we will now copy this one first. And guide it with the knot. With the second bolt. Do not put the water sealant. This is water sealant. Now we tie it with size 10. Make sure you tight here very well. If you don't tight here very well, you might not be able to tight it well again. So after here, you can now place it on the dish. As you can see the dish, this is 90 cm satellite dish. You will now place it this way. Use your your leg and hold it. Now we cannot use these boots or not. Insert the guide. Put the second one. It's good, right? Yeah. You can do landscape. Landscape, okay. Uh, that's why I do this. You know what I like? The third one. The fourth one. Mm. 
Now, after putting these four bolts and nuts, you now tie it with size 10. Size 10. Okay, this is very firm now. Very firm. I can now put this one. As you can see here, this place has a stopper. A stopper here. So with this top, it is telling you that you're supposed to put it this way because this particular iron will be here. This is why we call here stopper. Okay, so we will now guide here with the same short short bolt and not. Okay. After this stage, another thing we are going to insert is this particular U uh, bolt. Do the first one here. Curve it this way. This is the cap. Use it and seal it. In. Use the bigger knot to tie it. installation going on yeah this is how to install the bracket dstv 90 cm dish bracket on the wall so this is how to install the bracket on the wall as you can see it's very very strong very firm this is the boot size 14 and the nut size 14 as well size 14 boot and nut you tight it very well Come up here, this is also size 14, size 14, bolt and knot. You tight it very well, you can see. This is how to install it on the wall. Then, you make sure that here is vertical, vertical. You must make sure that that place is vertical, so that when you place your dish, it will be very, very, Okay. All right. Okay, still on the installation. Uh, right now, I've inserted the dish now. So as you can see, this is how it's supposed to be. So this is the stopper. This is the stopper. So this is the boat. 
where we can do the adjustment through azimuth, azimuth direction. So I want to do the tracking right now. And then I have also attached the LMB. This is the LMB. And while this is the, the meter. So right now, as it is, this is the initial reading of the meter. So once we have the signal now, it will start displaying. So what I want to do now is the tracking. So this is the jumper wire directly to the meter. So the tracking is moving the dish up and down and going sideways. We'll be able to see the signal. So once, the, once we see the signal, we'll now go inside and uh, finish the installation. All right. So right now I've gotten the signal. So I've gotten the DSCV signal now. So what is remaining now is to go inside. To go inside and do the remaining installation. Then I'll tighten up, I'll tighten up the bolts and nuts. It is remaining now to go inside and do the installation. Okay. okay, still on the installation. This is the decoder. This is the DSTV decoder. Okay. So we want to do the wiring now. We want to do the wiring. So as you can see, this place is LMB in where the satellite uh, wire coming out from outside will enter inside this place while well, this is the USB here is the HDMI HDMI port this is the AV AV while well, this is the adapter okay this one has been connected and this is the AV AV wire 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 we are going to connect it as well so we're connecting the AV right away. So as you can see, so everything is in place now. We have plugged the HDMI cord. Yes, we have connected the AV. We have connected also the power cord. Power cord, which is the adapter. We have connected it. So remaining this one. So once we connect this quasi cable. Uh, point it will bring the signal why we will now go straight to the television and do the installation okay all right this is the final uh, stage of our DSTV installation okay so once you finish connecting the decoder as you can see this is the DSTV decoder so after connecting it the first message that you are going to see on the TV is first time installation, which is installation wizard, step one of five, as you can see, welcome. So this is the first place you are going to come after connecting it to the television. So we have finished connecting it to the TV using HDMI, yes, high definition motion image. That is the meaning of that HDMI. Then, now we want to do the installation. You use the remote, okay? As you can see, it's pointing at English. You just say okay by pressing okay button. So, immediately we press okay, it lands us in this place, step two of five. So, you will remain it at this uh, E, 36B, E36B, so you don't need to change it to any other place. It's not going to work here because this is a zapper, DSTV zapper decoder. So you leave it at E36B. So this is where it's supposed to be. As you can see the information here, select this satellite for rest of Africa. Okay, and uh, we're in Africa. That is why we are leaving it at E36B. So you press OK 
press OK. Then after you press OK, it will take you to step 3. So we use the remote with this arrow. You go down to manual setup. Then you press OK. Once you press OK, it will take you to this particular uh, step 4 of 5. So this step 4 of 5, you will change this LMB type. LMB type, you change it to universal. Universal. Right now, the cursor is at this place. Scan. So you go up using arrow up, using this particular button. You go up. Go up. So we are in this place, LMB type, change it to universal by using this arrow, right arrow key. To universal, that is where we are going to now. So right now it's at universal. Now you come down to scan. The cursor is right there at scan. So right now you can see the tuna one signal status and tuna two signal status is already telling us that we have gotten signal so this is the level of the signal this is the level of the signal this is also the level of the signal level of the signal this blue light is showing us the signal uh, quality and the strength so right now the cursor is here at scan because that place is white so we can now press ok for it to scan I've pressed OK. So let it scan. Right now it has started scanning. And this is the step 5 of 5. Step 5 of 5. So once you follow this process gradually, as I'm telling you, you will be able to install the DSTV perfectly. Okay? It's scanning now. So after scanning, it will just start showing the channel 100, the free channel. It has finished scanning. Okay. It's already showing now. It's already showing now. This is the advertisement channel. Channel 100. So this is how to install the DSTV perfectly. Okay. So right now, what you are going to do again, is just press 154 with the remote. Once you press 154, if the decoder has not been activated, you will now call the customer care of your country to do the activation using the IUC number, the customer's information, and the phone number of the customer. Okay? So this one has been activated. So let us check. 154 channel 154 channel 154 so it's already showing it's already showing so let's check channel 128 channel 1 2 8 that's the wrestling Okay, now, uh, remaining one other thing, we will want to connect the sound to this woofer, okay, the home theater, so we want to connect the sound, alright, yeah, you can turn the back, turn the back, so, right now, the volume is not playing in the home theater yet, okay, uh, it's not playing here yet, but we want to connect the sound of this DSTV to the home theater so that it will start uh, playing here. Put it on. It has moved off. It's off already. Okay, so this is the back of the woofer, the home theater woofer. Okay, so this is where we are going to connect the AV this place white and red that is the audio audio my connect is there white to white then red to red make sure it's, you put it inside very well put the red inside very well okay 
Okay, right now we have connected it. Now, what we are going to do now is to turn it to auxiliary. Okay, let me see the remote. So this is the remote. Okay, now. Yeah, the volume has entered the home theater. Okay. As you can see, this is auxiliary. Ox. You must turn it to ox before the sound will reflect on the home theater. Okay. So, the sound now is in the home theater. All right. Okay, thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.